In this video, I'm going to exactly show you what to do if your partner is not into spirituality. So this is one question from one of my subscribers. What can I tell my boyfriend when he asks me to keep him away from what I love, spirituality? And this question you can apply as well to girlfriend, partner, whatever situation you are in. So first of all, you love spirituality. What is spirituality? For me, spirituality is this journey towards spirit, towards higher spirit, your higher soul, yourself, your higher self. So you go on this journey, make your experience, have experiences, and through these experiences you grow, you transform like a butterfly, and you come towards yourself, your true self. Without any mask, without any personas, your true and naked self. And on this journey, there's many people guiding us, leading us, acknowledging us, accepting us or not. And so we can dive ourselves or make our way towards ourselves. Sometimes we have elbows, sometimes not. We have lots of different um, techniques and ways to communicate, to learn, to unlearn, to unwire and uh, to connect and to acknowledge, accept, whatever it is. And here in this question, it means your partner is telling you to keep him away from a certain topic. And this is spirituality. Whenever we are stating our boundaries, communicating our truth, what we can do is to accept it. So when I communicate my truth, please keep me away from this. What I love and appreciate is the person if they're accepting and saying, thank you so much for stating your boundary, for communicating your truth with me. Thank you. And then they acknowledge, then I appreciate, then they accept. And I'm like, thank you for accepting it, right? Because sometimes we state our own boundary and people are not, not understanding it. And they're coming and coming all over again with the same things. And I have to communicate my boundary over and over and over again. So the best thing we can do is to accept, appreciate, acknowledge and thank the person that is stating the boundary, whatever it is. And now here's, you love spirituality, this is your thing, I think this is your passion, this is what you love, this is what's running through your DNA. And um, But spirituality as well is accepting others, right? This is one step in spirituality to, to come from ignorance right, from this darkness of ignorance and self-righteousness, so I know what's right, I know what's best for you, because I know, to acceptance. Everyone is on their own little journey. If they say, I'm spiritual or not, everyone is on their journey. And there's this one saying, saying, um, as many monks, as many paths. So that means as many individual souls there are on this planet, as many paths there are. So you have your spiritual journey, I have my spiritual path, you and, and this, and, and everyone has their very own path towards enlightenment, towards yourself, to your higher self. So everyone around or on your journey that you are connecting with or like that you encounter, they can be pointers, they can show you the way but they cannot bring you there. They cannot bring you, hey, that's, that's your, yourself. It's not going to happen. They can only point you towards a direction and sometimes it's not the right direction, but on this journey towards this, this, um, towards this direction, you learn as well and you grow. And then you're like, oh, that was not the right path, but that actually as well is a good realization, right? So in this case, if your partner is not spiritual, what you can do is you can lead by example. You can just be this spiritual person with your practice, with your routine, with all your tools that you do, with, with your modalities, with your um, meditation, with your yoga, whatever it is that you call spiritual. If you show up and you show up as your best self in every situation, and I know it's hard, but the more you try, the more you practice to be calm when others are not calm. This is the moments when you stand out. So everyone is, for example, panicking and in fear and they're buying all these toilet papers. <laughs> you can be calm. You can stand out as the one that is calm. And then you stand out and they will question, why is this person calm? How is that possible? We're all panicking, like shit is hitting the fan and this person is just there, calm. You're focused, you're calm, you're concentrated, you know what's needed right now. You breathe, you're there, 
you're there for others. And these are the moments when they maybe tell, ask you, how is it possible that you remain that calm? What are you doing? And then you say, yeah, you can, you can inspire them by, by, by showing them what it is that lets you be that calm in these moments, right? This is the moments when you really have the gift of inspiration and lift others up. Because in Germany we have a saying, it's, it, it says, once the student is ready, the teacher will make its appearance. So it means the student, and in this moment, in this, in this situation, maybe your boyfriend, they are only ready to receive your knowledge, your wisdom, only if they choose to be ready. If they tell you, hey, I am ready. Please let me know what you're doing here. I'm so eager to learn. Those are the moments when you can be there. Those are the moments when you can show up and stand up and share this one truth, this one fact, whatever it is that helped you, this one tool. This is the time when you can bring it on and give it to them. And they will be so appreciative. They will be so thankful and grateful. And that are the times when they can actually learn and grow from it. There's no, not other times where they can learn. When they're not ready and it's like, hey, please keep me away from it. Keep him away from it, right? Simple. <laughs> Even though, yeah, you want to share it, you want some boyfriend, you want to be spiritual, you want to do all these practices together. But the first practices we have to learn, or one of the first practices we have to learn is to be acceptant, to appreciate, it, appreciate other people's opinions, perspectives, truth, to just accept acknowledge and say okay i acknowledge you this is your truth thank you for letting me know that's all and then you just continue your practice you continue your your modalities and you keep showing up who you are and inspire others by just being who you are present and anchored in your calmness and whenever someone is coming up and sees you and and, and is inspired by you this is the moment this is the time when you can be there for them if you learned something new today from this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click the subscribe button below this video.